Hey guys, my name is Ksenia, welcome to my channel. Uh, right now I am in Milan with my boyfriend. We've just checked in 10 minutes ago maybe to this apartment and we are going to, to stay here for about two weeks and we're gonna change uh, and live in a different location next week. So I'm gonna take you along this journey and show you a little bit of the city and what we do here. We are gonna be working on the weekdays actually, so um, we're not gonna be doing only touristy stuff, but rather living here and enjoying the city in the evenings, in the mornings, on the weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you some of it. And let me just do a quick apartment tour before we messed it up, um, before our stuff is everywhere. So here's the entrance. That's how you come into the apartment. And here's the other side. So we have the bathroom immediately to the left. Oh, to the right, sorry. <laughs> to the left, to the right. Um, yeah, it has the washing machine, which is pretty nice when you travel for extended periods of time. Um, I think it has like all the things we need, all the amenities. And then um, here's the living room slash kitchen where we will be working and yeah, chilling, maybe cooking something, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Oh, hold on. Yeah, like that. So um, yeah, looks pretty nice as well. And then we have the bedroom, which has a lot of storage space and Alexandra's t-shirt is already here. And yeah, that's the bed and even more storage space there yeah and our views are okay but nothing exciting one is facing one street and the other one facing the other street This area is so beautiful. There is this beautiful, um, nice little park with those gorgeous, unique, um, I don't know, unbelievable houses. I wish there was there were more like those uh, houses like those. And they are actually, I think, pretty. Like they are not. You, you don't. They're not high maintenance. You don't need to spend a lot of money on them. So they are pretty, pretty sustainable. So I don't know why this project has not spread wider but yeah i love seeing it every time it's beautiful It's currently around 5 p.m. and I've decided to take a little walk to Duomo, although I say little walk, it's about 45-50 minutes, I think, from where we live. So we've almost had a heat stroke, I think, when we walked earlier today, so Alexander is still at home resting. He doesn't feel good in general, I think, from the flight, from the little cold that he got. I don't know, he's just chilling at home. So I decided to not waste this Sunday afternoon and to actually head out. So I'm gonna see uh, Duomo with my own eyes again. I, last time I seen it was in 2019, so I'm super excited. And also, right now it's 36 above zero and it feels like 38, according to iPhone and according to my own uh, feeling. It's like pff, maybe 42 now when you step on, on the sun, it's crazy. So we'll see how my 50 minute one-way one walk will go. But I've got water and I'm hopeful that I'm not gonna die from heat. Oh, oh my God. I went to the Duomo, to, this, um, to the beautiful cathedral. I went for a quick shop into Uniqlo and I think 
I'm now near this legendary Starbucks that's like museum, so I, I think that's it. So I'm gonna find out now. Today we're going to the Brera Picture Gallery or Brera Pinacoteca <laughs> and we're, uh, we've booked a slot to enter at 5.45. We're going together. Alexander is feeling right. better now. He was sick for quite a bit, Very but now hot. he's good. Yeah, it's really hot outside and yeah, but anyway. And uh, all the COVID restrictions, I, I believe, are lifted at this point, so you can pretty much enter any anywhere without masks, without anything like that. But at the Pinacoteca, they still want you to reserve the time slot in advance online, so that's what we did. And hopefully there's not going to be too many people there, but, you know, they close at, I think, quarter past seven, so... I don't know, there might be just a lot of tourists like us there, but I'm really excited to see the art in any case.